combination. I'm supposed to have a historical point somewhere, maybe a sign to read. I think I saw it at the end. But there is a statue to indicate something. Yeah, he's... I don't know. I think it's supposed to indicate Jacoby's storehouse or something like that. Alright, it's getting a little dark and hard to see here. I thought this looked neat. Picks up pretty good on the camera from what I see. Air Enterprise. I smell a lot of weed. But it looks like quite a few people are sleeping on this street. I'm actually choosing the street down from this, but this is good. Look at this, boss. Had to cover up every window. The impression that this is flashing on purpose. That's the first security light I've ever seen flashing like that. Things that people do to these porta potties. I've seen several of these types of holes people will put in. I don't understand what was going on. They were poking it with something weird. But all these porta potties, the ones that stay permanently, really take a lot of, of abuse. The permanent porta potty. The permanent portable potty. But if it was the weekend, I'd more seriously consider walking on to the Humboldt State University from where I'm at. But there's just too much student activity I don't want to deal with. It's on the other side of the highway. Instead, I'll just go further north to the next library. Not too enthused about the Arcata Library either because I already had the cops called on me yesterday. This is next to the Seniorville, the Senior Center. Okay, so I'm sitting here wondering, it's 8.44 p.m. Wondering why I'm breathing a little heavier. Like, it's just only a slight issue. I mean, it's it's not like going to kill me or anything. I don't have that feeling, but it it's, it's slightly noticeable where I'm kind of breathing to catch my breath. And I'm thinking maybe it's because I did have that gallon of apple, si apple juice yesterday. It probably cleaved a lot of heavy metals out of my body. Uh, the, I like iron, those type of metals that would help actually in carrying oxygen uh, through my bloodstream. So I'm thinking maybe I have reduced metals in my body and that's what's causing a little heavier breathing. I'm not processing oxygen as efficiently after consuming that apple juice. It's just something to be recognized between white bo young white boys in bathrooms. I'm a little surprised to see this area is virtually bum free. It's a nice setup that I think bums would like too. This city may have taken a strong stance against uh, commuters and all that and it might have paid off because I don't see any. Okay, I want to start a movement called Keep Dogs Noses Long Movement because until they're able to to grab their food and put it in their mouth they shouldn't have short faces like humans. Right, I've never seen a free charging station for disabilities. So, you would park here only if you have a disability. I've never seen so many um, animal uh, heads on display at a barber shop. That's something else. Alright, so the bridge is supposed to be about a mile away. Alright, so I'm gonna go to the Mad River Bridge, which is still a long ways away. I thought it was making better, better progress. Looking at the old train bridge from a distance, it looks pretty cool. Uh, probably doesn't show up very well. It looks like an old train bridge. Oh, 
Um, probably less than a mile from the ocean, but not not that much less than a mile. <clears throat> and an old shed, which is looks like it's still in use. I'd like to get a closer look, but there's people that live here. Alright, going downhill. What is this? It smells like sewage. Say cheese! I don't see any udders. Looks like we got a lot of beef cows around here. I like these little light, light brown colored cows. They look like Maybe females. There's tiny, tiny udders on these. Like, they're not really used for milk, maybe? Definitely a, a wide variety of cow. Yeah, there's udders. You can see them, they're so tiny though. Who raises cows with tiny udders these days? So this is directed at hunters. They're saying they picked up a lot of shotgun shells. And they put it on the sign that goes up this bridge. <clears throat> I think this train bridge uh, got a lot of renovation because this is quite a drop. I don't think a train would normally drop so steeply down. Yeah, because you wouldn't have all this, this concrete and everything. They've done a lot of work. The structure that holds the bridge up is about what's left. Oh, there's a sign. Oh well. Yeah, that's quite a drop down. I'm sure the rail bridge would have extended much further. So this steel bridge used to be a wooden bridge and they just built around the, the wooden structure. So after crossing the bridge, it's a lot of pasture land you go through. There's kids whipping their dirt bikes back and forth. Alright, so on the way to the ocean, take a little turn off here, you go to the, see the bridge. Oh, there's a bunch of bicyclers, I bet they're going to come up uh, behind me. It's a little muddy, it's a little dirty, maybe because of the rain. Alright, as evidenced by the pole there and a pole over here, it looks very new. They're intending to put a gate up for both, both entrances, both accesses. This uh, has been abused, I guess. Maybe campers or something. It appears they might get a lot of people here. Pretty loose on the dog regulations. They even have a bike rack out here. All right, so here's the, they put it, they have to put a notice up when they make a gate. I've never seen that in other places before. I think my extra large wide feet were built for this. The sand is just loose enough. So if people are, or if there's a problem with people camping on the beach, then there's a good chance that Indians are probably camping out here as well and just catching their shellfish and all that. It's a nice area to do some camping. Unfortunately, the state does not approve and they're gonna say safety, but that needs more explanation. It's just too broad. A lot of rocks wash up the, the shore in, a, in an odd pattern. And of course, agates. Okay, this isn't very translucent, but this would be kind of a good one. I'm sure it's, yeah, you can see through it just a little bit. 
it has a little bit of value to people who are hardcore agate collectors. The red ones are really pretty. And there's so many rocks. This is very similar to the Washington Beach. I believe that's where I got that agate. 